Hello everyone and welcome to the lecture on bar plots. As usual, we start by importing the library cell modules. Import NumPy, Pandas, Seaborn and Matplotlib's PyPlot. We have the special magic function which will help us see our plots on Jupyter Notebook. Let's start by loading the tips dataset and we'll save it in a variable called tips. We'll use Seaborn's load dataset method. Then pass our tips dataset. Let's take two of the variables from our tips dataset and draw a bar plot. For that, we'll call Seaborn's bar plot method. SNS that bar plot and we'll pass our x and y variables for our x axis let's say day and for our y axis let's use the tip data and our data comes from the tips data set run it now we have a bar plot with days on the x axis and tip on the y axis so we see that we have the highest tip for sunday let's see another example let's draw a bar plot of day versus total bill for instance so sns that bar plot for our x-axis we'll use day and for our y-axis we'll use total bill and the data comes from our tips data set so that's what it looks like for the day versus total bill we can also pass the hue attribute to get more information based on that hue for instance, let's pass sex for our hue attribute. Okay. So let me copy this. Paste it down here. This time, let's pass a hue attribute and set it to be sex. Run it. So here we have our bar plots for days versus tip divided by or the hue is sex we have male for male and for female in green if we want to change the color we can pass the palette attribute and set it to a different color let's say winter underscore r run it again we have a different color now and we can also pass some other hues like smoker for instance, let's copy that, paste it here, and pass hue smoker. Run it. So now we have a bar plot for days versus total bill, and hue is smoker. Smoker in blue, and then smoker in green. So it looks like from our data set, we can say, you know, for the days of Thursday, Saturday and Sunday, we have smokers paying a higher total bill versus compared to non-smokers. And the opposite is true for Friday. So we can get some more information by including this hue. So these are vertical bar plots. We can also have horizontal bar plots so if we change the position of x and y we'll get a horizontal bar plot let's see an example of that so sns that bar plot this time for our x-axis we'll use the total bill and for our y-axis we'll use days y is equal to day and our data comes from the tips data set. Run it. Now we have a horizontal bar plot. And again, we can pass the palette attribute and change the color to, let's say spring. Run it. Now we have a different palette. Okay. Another thing we can do is pass the order attribute 
and pass so that we can control the order in which the variables are presented. For instance, let's consider day versus tip for our bar plots. So SNS that bar plot for our x axis will pass day, and for our y axis will pass tip. And our data comes from the tip data set. So if we consider this alone, we have day and then tip on the y axis. Let's change the palette to a different color. Let's make this one spring also. We have that. And if we want to see the days in a different order, we can pass the order attribute. So we can pass order and then pass a list of the days that we want to see in order. For instance, if I want to see Saturday first, I can write that. Sat I can pass Saturday first in our list. And then let's see if I want to see Friday next. I will say Friday, then Sunday. And finally, I want to see Thursday, for instance. So if we run this, we have the days in the order we specified here. Saturday, Friday, Sunday, and Thursday. So in this, in all of the examples we have seen so far, you see that on the y-axis we have mean of the tip, right? So if you go here, the amount here is in mean, the mean of total bill, mean of tip, and so on. Instead of mean, if we want to pass another estimator, we can also do that. For that, we will need to pass an attribute known as estimator and set it to have a different value. For instance, if we want to use median as our estimator, we can pass median for our estimator attribute. Let's see an example. SNS that bar plot. And let's plot a bar plot of, let's say, day versus total bill total bill and data comes from the tips data set for estimator so without passing the estimator attribute here we see that total bill is we, we see the mean of total bill now let's pass the estimator attribute estimator and set it to be let's say median if we run it now it says median is not defined. Okay, let's import it from NumPy. From NumPy, import median. Okay, we should be good now. Let's run it again. Okay, now we have a median of the total bill instead of mean. Okay, and let's pass the palette attribute. Let's use spring looks like that similarly we can consider other variables let's consider for instance smoker versus tip or SNS that bar plot for our x-axis let's pass smoker for our y-axis let's pass tip and our data comes from the tips data set so without the estimator attribute it looks like this mean of tip now let's pass the estimator attribute and set it to be the median so if we run it now we have the median of tip we can still pass the hue attribute for instance let's say sex run it again so we have sex as, as our hue male and female and the median of our tip let's pass a different palette and set it for instance to be cool warm run it again so that's what it looks like 